much better today across southeastern New Mexico, but looks can be deceiving. There are still plenty of county roads that are impacted, and so we have crews that are out helping to clear these roads. General Andrew Salas with the New Mexico National Guard says he and local first responders still have one major concern. There may still be some isolated residents that are still feeling the effects of the storm, and so we're doing everything possible to help these local first responders to reach these folks to make sure that they're okay. In addition to getting residents out of snow like this, they're also making sure they make it to their doctor's appointments. The National Guard is primarily helping folks that need to make it to medical appointments, uh, such as dialysis or to receive uh, necessary medical care. And so we've had a lot of demand for that, especially in the Roswell and Clovis area. People aren't the only ones affected. The storm took a major toll on animals and livestock. Usually the National Guard drops hay and feed to make sure animals can eat. But they're not doing it this time around because they don't think it's necessary. We believe that the ranchers and farmers are capable uh, of making sure that their livestock have the necessary food and water to make it through the rest of the, the winter. There is a bright side, though. General Salas says when the storm first hit, about 100 of his soldiers were on the ground. Now he's been able to cut that back to just 20 as things improve. Sasha Leninger, KOAT, Action 7 News.